And Bill and Candace, the health committee that is guiding the school board on this says the COVID-19 metrics that they have been watching are at a point where they say they feel comfortable with allowing the first group of students to begin some in-person instruction. The start date for that group will be September 29th, and that first group will be comprised of special education students based off of their individualized education programs. Now they will be in schools four days a week. The only day that they won't be there is Wednesday to allow for a deep clean of the buildings. Now the school system adds that for this and all of the groups, if parents don't feel comfortable with sending their kids to school, they can keep them home to continue with an all virtual learning program. And the school, the health panel did warn, however, that as they resume face to face instruction, there will be cases of COVID-19 in the school system. And in those cases, they will take appropriate action, says the superintendent. And that includes potentially closing down schools if needed. We were working with the, the Churchville County Health Department in that area, and they're going to help us with, uh, you know, the, with the tracing and everything else that we have to do once that occurs. But we will look at each school as if and when a, uh, a staff member or student has the uh, virus. Now the health committee will continue to watch the health metrics and give updates every two weeks on whether the next group can start some in-person instruction. If there are no delays, it should look as follows. Group two, which is pre-K to grade two, could start on October 12th. Group three, which is grades three to five, could start on October 26th. And group four, which is grades six through 12, could start on November 9th. However, with those groups, they will only have two days of in-person instruction and then three days of independent at-home learning as assigned by their teachers. Additionally, those groups two to four will be split in half based off of students last names and one group will go to school on Mondays and Tuesdays, the others on Thursdays and Fridays. Working for you in Chesterfield County, Kevin Thompson, CBS 6 News.